be here too, but we're not hearing reports of any major problems. However, it's not over yet. Court's here with your forecast. Yeah, it's far from over, Linda. We're going to see more active weather today. It looks like tomorrow, and then that'll spill into Wednesday as well. And a live look outside right now for your noon hour across the Sundial Bridge in Redding. You can see wet out there across the bridge area, and we are seeing some visibility impacts as well. So there's some fog in the wake of the heavier showers we saw earlier on today that's developed across portions of our region and it's making for slick roads because of the rain and difficult vision conditions across our roads. Tough to see out there, I should say, on the roads due to some fog that's developed. You can see right now we're down to less than two miles of visibility currently in the Red Bluff area, a little under four miles for Corning. So that's where we're seeing the biggest impact for fog right now. The reporting site in Chico is down at the moment, but that should be back up shortly. We're also seeing some fog limiting visibility in portions of the northern Sierra, southern Cascades and in the northern mountains. So again, where we've seen showers earlier on today, where it has dried out a little bit, we're now seeing some fog out there that's making it tough to see. Temperatures right now hovering in the lower to mid 50s in the valley, 40s to lower 50s in the foothills, and we're seeing 30s to 40s in our mountain zones right now. Getting a look at what's on the way in your forecast, we have a wind advisory going into effect at 7 p.m. tonight, lasting through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. That includes the valley, the foothills, and a portion of the northern Sierra. So be prepared. It's not just going to be wet tonight. The winds are going to pick up, and that's going to play a role in the hazardous conditions on our roadways as well. Could see some trees down into roadways causing travel impacts. Could see some branches falling into power lines, which could cause some power outages. And remember, you can always find us on the app for actionnewsnow.com. And that's the live stream there if your power goes out and you can't catch us over the live broadcast on television. Wind out of the southeast up to around six miles an hour right now for Oroville. We're going to see winds fluctuating over the next few hours and then tonight really picking up. See 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts at midnight tonight. Still seeing very gusty conditions early tomorrow. Gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour still in the morning hours early on Tuesday. Those winds diminish by the afternoon though. Gusts up to around 25 miles an hour and then those winds Mm, well, it looks like they'll be a little bit weaker on the way for Wednesday after a little bit of a pickup Wednesday or Tuesday evening after Tuesday afternoon. Satellite and radar showing you showers streaming north across our region. The heaviest rain right now to the west of the valley in the coastal range heading up into Trinity County. You can see we still have some very widespread shower activity across Shasta and Tehama County zone. So Redding right now, some showers heading through the Redding area, some light precipitation across most of the valley in the Shasta County zones. Light precipitation that's widespread across Tehama County with some pockets of rain that's a little bit stronger. You can see Red Bluff, one of those areas impacted right now, as is Los Molinos to the south. A little bit of a break in the wet weather for the Butte County area, but it's going to be resurging this afternoon. You can see showers to the west of I-5, mostly in the Glen County area, but some light showers right now heading through Willows. And all of this is drawn on by this low pressure system, that cool wet system off the coast of California. Now that's going to be joined by a second cool wet system and these are going to merge and that's going to create a bigger impact, potentially cooler air mass and lower snow levels heading into tomorrow. That'll leave us with more of an impact for our higher elevations for travel over the next couple of days. Your hyperlocal future cast, the chance is there for some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity this afternoon. In fact, mid afternoon, 2 to 3 p.m. It looks like we've got another band of heavy rain tracking across northern California in the valley. We'll see the showers primarily becoming heavier in the foothills and higher elevations by 5 p.m. with some limited showers in the valley for your commute home. Overnight tonight, showers becoming more intense, and we'll see those continuing to strengthen heading through Wednesday morning, and then they'll fizzle out by Wednesday afternoon, and we're mostly dry with the rest of the week with the exception of a chance for showers on Friday. So rain totals, we're looking at an inch and a half to two and a half inches for the valley left. Could see up to three to four inches of rain in some of our higher elevations. Snow totals, it looks like we could be dealing with a foot or so of snow in the northern Sierra, so we're backing off on those snow totals. Temperatures today ending up in the 40s for the northern mountains. We'll end up in the 40s for the Sierra and southern Cascades as well. Foothill areas in the 40s, low 50s. And in the valley today, it's going to be low to mid 50s for the afternoon. Linda, I'll have that Storm Tracker 7-day forecast coming up in a few minutes.